Our spring coverage of Liberty Flames football continues on LibertyFlames.com, joined by the head coach, Turner Gill. And, Coach, just about done with spring ball. Things are going okay? Going real good. I've uh, seen a few guys who have uh, come to the forefront, and I think our defense is really doing some good things. I think our offense is really maturing, uh, particularly uh, Josh's. I think the leadership. Uh, I think he's even improved in the leadership, and I think the one area where I think he's improved is he's communicating even more to the players, all the offensive players, on what they need to do and how they need to do it. What are some of the positions that you were curious to see how they would develop in the spring, and how have those uh, developed? Offensively, I think tight end would be the first thing that we're looking at as we uh, replacing uh, really three guys that played quite a bit of football for us in the last three or four years, and. I think they are coming along pretty good. Dexter Herman has done some good things there as far as trying to get some things. Um, Will Johnson, a new guy coming in here from West Virginia, is pretty solid. Ken Nakuman has done a great job of coming in and doing some things. We've had a little bumps and bruises here and there, so some have missed some reps and some have gotten more reps and, <clears throat> and all that. But I think overall, uh, I, I like what I see, uh, the potential we're going to have. We're going to have a solid group of guys there at the tight end spot and being able to play very, very well. They need to just for sure at least play up to the par of what we did last year because I think they all haven't played a whole lot of reps. The other area on the defensive side of the ball, I think the D-line and corners would be the areas where I think we just need to get a lot more repetition. Um, we did play a lot of guys last year on the D-line. We have three or four guys who didn't play at all last year as far as the red shirt guys there. Mark Wilson there a little bit did not play. He has not participated in spring football at this point in time. He's still battling a little bit of an injury. Uh, we got two or three other guys that are playing too. So I think we got a good group of guys. We just need to get some guys with more experience. And I think that's why I got spring football practice. And you speak of spring football comes after recruiting season. So how exciting is it for you and your staff to be back with the guys and getting them on the field? Well, we like more days on it, to be honest with you. I know that you're talking about cutting days and all that for us, <laughs> us football coaches with our players. But it's right. so important uh, that you get some more practice time with them, get the continuity. It's not only just about the X's of football, it's about getting to know them uh, and how they uh, handle things. And then how do we need to talk to them uh, when things go good? How do we need to uh, encourage them when things are not going so good? Because they all got different personalities and you can't do the same approach on every single guy. So as a D-line coach, linebacker, or any position coach, you, you really want to be around as much as can so you can get to know how you need to talk to them when things are going good and things are not going so well. Coach, we caught up you last week uh, to update you on an audio interview, and you talked about working with Josh Woodrum, your quarterback, and working on his accuracy. How have you done that, and what improvements have you seen with him through that? Well, I think uh, I yeah. have personally, uh, yeah. the first two years, I did not every practice. I, I'm personally grading him. Uh, I'm grading him really on location of the ball, where it's thrown, his decision making. Uh, I'm critiquing him on that. Um, and so um, I kind of put those things on their individual days and then the overall performance. Uh, he's right about 78% or so as far as overall, as far as his grade, uh, as far as where his location has been. Um, and again, this is all teamwork stuff. And I say teamwork, I'm talking 11 on 11 and a little bit, I should say, 7 on 7 work that we do uh, every day. So uh, he's done well. Uh, I think there's times every now and then we talk about it. And, uh, and I said, sometimes it's going to be okay for you to disagree. Uh, and uh, I want to explain, uh, you explain why you think it should be this way in the grade, and I explain you why I gave you this grade. Uh, and so it's a learning process for all. We're trying to get him up to a high level, and uh, we're critiquing him on everything, and I want him to be perfect. Uh, again, I know you, you cannot be perfect, but you can always strive to be perfect, so that's what we indicate to him, and he's handling very, very well. It's making sure that he doesn't get into a monotony. Uh, he's now been a two-year starter, so to speak, and you, you kind of become a little – in some cases, you can be lackadaisical. Well, I know it. He've heard these plays over and over again, but it's, it's deeper than that. Uh, he got to execute his job, but he also got to uh, raise the level of play of the other people around him. And, Coach, we all know the offense is only as good as the offensive line. A couple of holes to fill. From a starting perspective there, how has that group looked? I'm, I'm, I'm good about that whole group right there. I think Max Summers has come on as far as uh, left tackle, the place that we got to do with Hunter Stewart. I think he's doing a pretty good job there. He's had a little bit of banged up with some bruises and of that nature too. But uh, I really feel good about the offensive line. I think the other part of it is uh, we got two guys. We're, we're trying to bow out Aaron Campbell, trying to see what he's going to do. Ethan Collison is another guy that's uh, vying in for the guard spot. Ethan has been banged up a little bit, so he's been cutting on some reps, and we hate to – to see that happen. Hopefully we can get him back here in the last week. But uh, I feel good about 
I say seven to eight guys. So I think six to seven, we're pretty good. We're trying to always trying to get about eight as we go into the season. And uh, but I, I feel good about where we're at and where we're going. And Cody Gokenauer is probably going to end up being our backup center. Um, the guy was a junior college transfer for last year. We redshirted him, uh, but he has two years left. And uh, you know, he still got to get used to doing what he needs to do. And but I, I like what uh, what I see in him. One other phase, Coach, you've talked about a lot since the end of last year has been the return game. How do you work on that in spring ball? Well, we don't do anything live as far as on the return game there. We do a little bit with the punt returners, but kickoff return, we're just working on a few little different schemes that we may try on that. But punt return, we actually have guys going live on that part. We have our um, gunners as far as on the punt team, they're going down there to cover, and, and then we want them to take a shot and make a tackle. We want to find out if those guys are, are really focused on the ball instead of the man and not fumbling the ball, those things of that nature. So uh, that's going to be up in the air. Uh, I can't sit here and say we're probably going to name a starter as we go uh, at the end of spring ball. We'll go all the way into fall camp and see what happens then. And coming up on Saturday, a little spring game for you guys as you get to uh, play in front of the fans. Uh, how fun is that for you and your team? Well, I think it's fun. It's, it's a practice for us and, uh, and from that perspective. But again, let our fans get a chance to get a sneak preview of uh, our talent that we have and seeing how we're doing. And then they get to recognize some names. Uh, that's the other challenge. Is there's some people that they don't know their name because they didn't play last year. A lot of people have been redshirted. Uh, so it's just great to have our fans to come out. Then see how guys respond when, when somebody's watching differently than just us coaches out there and seeing can they uh, do some things of that nature. All right, Coach, we appreciate the time. We'll see you on Saturday. Well, thank you, and go Flames. Thoughts of a head coach, Turner Gill. I'm Alan York for Liberty Flames Sports Network.